Children's Church Online. I'm so glad to be joining you today. I hope you're glad to be joining me too. Today with me is a special friend of mine and her name is Olive. Olive, how are you doing today? Hi. Are you good? Oh, very well. Thank Wonderful. You. Please jog my memory. I think I forgot what we were talking about the last time. What were we talking about last week? We were talking about to follow Jesus and be close to him. Exactly. I now remember. I remember. That's exactly what we were talking about. But this week we're starting on a brand new series, Faith Files. I have faith. Do you have faith? Do we even know what faith is? Before we get into that, we have to play a game. I just need to let you know one thing. The leaders are currently leading with four whole points and the kids only have two. Olive, you have to do this for the kids. You have to win this game. We can't let the leaders win. Woo! I would love it for the leaders to win, personally. But Olive, you have to do it for all the kids. Joining us today is a special member today. We have a special leader and his name is Uncle Tawanda all the way from the choir. Woo! We're so excited for that and let's go. Are you guys ready for the game? Yes. yes. Lovely stuff. But before we get into playing the game, I need to explain what the game is about. Okay, so today we're going to be playing Find the Ball. What is Find the Ball all about? So we have these under certain containers here on the ground. We don't know which container has what and which one doesn't. But what we know is the leader and the child have to pick a container. Three chances per person for every round. How many rounds do we have? Three rounds. Who's going to win? I don't know, but I want the leaders to begin. But the kids have to catch up. I don't know who's gonna win. Who has this game? I think I want Uncle Tawana to start because he's our guest. Yeah. You can start in one, two, three. Let's go, Uncle Tawana. Oh, he has one already. Let's see, two. He's got two already. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Impressive. He has a solid three already. Okay. I don't know. She can beat it. Let's go, Olive. In three, two, one, go. <gasps> One, two, oh, she has two. Boys and girls, Uncle Tawanda has three so far and Olive has a two. Okay, we need to start again. I have my handy helper who's assisting me. Welcome Uncle Roland to assist me with putting back the balls. Now you guys have to turn around because you're not supposed to see. Turn around. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. Let's go. This time around, I want Olive to begin. Olive, you begin in three, two, one. Okay. One, two, okay. Three. Well done. Olive has a solid three. Wonderful. Uncle Tawanda, can mm -hmm. you do better than that? Yes, I can. In three, two, one. One, two, three. A solid three again. Uncle Tawanda is on a roll, okay. All right, so we call Uncle Roland again to come and fix our container okay. for us. Okay, so you guys can turn around. Mm -hmm. And yes, this game is beginning to be very difficult. I'm so anxious, I don't know who's going to win because Uncle Tawanda representing the leaders has six points and Olive representing all the children has five points. It's anyone's game at this point and anyone can win. Remember, it is the final round. I want Uncle Tawanda to begin the final round. I hope you can do this. I hope you can win it for the leaders. I'm going to win it. Okay. In three, two, and one. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. And one. Okay. 
things are turning around. Uncle Tawanda only managed to get one. Olive, you can win this. I am. You can win this. In three, two, one. And one. Nothing. And two. Okay. I can't believe my eyes. Boys and girls, it's a tie. The leaders have seven and the children have seven. It's anybody's game. But somebody has to win, so we have to play a tiebreaker. They have to pick an extra ball each. Olive, I'd like for you to begin. And Olive missed. I hope Uncle Tawanda misses. <laughs> Uncle Tawanda? Yes. Let's go. Okay. <gasps> Things are getting tense. Oh, both of them missed. So we have to do another one. <laughs> Olive, let's go. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Olive might have won this game. She has won. We don't know, but Uncle Tawanda, Uncle Tawanda? <laughs> I'm gonna, okay. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I have can, to win this. You can pick. And Uncle Tawanda misses. There's nothing underneath the container. Oh, the children have won this game! Well done, Olive! Well done, boys and girls all over the world! So we have the leaders at four and the children at three. I'm so glad Olive won that one. Well done children all over the world. So the leaders have four and the children have three. Well done Olive for winning that one. Now it's time to get into our Bible story. Okay, who do I have here? COVID test, negative, blood pressure. Hmm, normal. Oh, sweetie, what is wrong with you? Why are you the doctors today? Did you say something? Yes, I did. I am Dr. Tandy. Dr. Candy? Dr. Tandy. Oh, Dr. Tandy. Y yes, Dr. Tandy. 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 Oh, Dr. Tandy. Dr. Tandy, yes. Why are you here today, sweetie? I can't hear. I can't hear anything. I just came from the game and I can't hear. Okay, so can you stop shouting? Because I can actually hear you, okay? You can so, hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, oh, okay. You know, just really being too loud. Okay, so just just have a little bit of faith in me, okay? Because I Yes, just a little bit of faith in me. You know, can you stop touching your... Why are you touching your ear? I want to hear. What do you want to hear? I mean, I'm being so loud and clear. Um, okay, stop. Let's go back to the examination. Everything on your charts is very good, but I can't seem to find the problem. I can't hear. Okay, sweetie, what is your name? My name is Fadzai. I'm Auntie Fadzi. Okay, Fadzai, okay. Dr. Tandy here is going to check what's wrong with your ear. Can you move a little bit closer? Closer. And closer. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Am I going to be fine? Yes, you're going to be fine, sweetie. You definitely, everything is all right with you. Okay, I've actually found the diagnosis. And guess what, Fuzzy? Am I going to be okay? Oh yes, definitely you're going to be okay. It's Dr. Tony here. She's here. She got you. She has got you, sweetie. I got you. I got totally, totally got you. You see, the problem is with you is your big hair, everything out. You've just put too much oil in your hair. Like too much oil. What? Like oil, oil, oil. It just can't be the oil. I can't believe it. It can't. Oh, yes. You just put too much oil and there's lots of oil in your ear. So I'll be able to sort that out. 
thank you so much and I, I want to be able to hear again you know this morning my mother was telling me about faith and when you said that i need to have faith in you i just discovered that yes faith is very important oh very true faith is very important like you can see all my certificates everywhere can you see them just right there yes oh, i can see yeah. them yeah i've been to school like a number of times and a lot of people just don't believe me because i just look so gorgeous can you check out my eyelashes like oh i'm dr tandy and i tell people i'm dr tandy from zimbabwe and everybody okay just doctor me, okay but, you know, can i speak now oh, yes dude you can <sighs> Finally, you know, when you said that I need to have faith in you, oh, yes. I just remembered today's memory verse. It's talking about faith. Really? Today's memory verse is coming from Romans 10 verse 17. Hold on, hold on. Who's Romans? Is that Roman like the Roman? No, Romans is trip, a book of the Bible. In the Bahamas and... Doc. Okay. Romans is a book in the Bible. Oh. Yes. And it says... Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. Wow, that's really interesting. It's so extremely. that's why you came to me so that you can get your ears fixed and I can fix you and sort you out and, and then I can tell you everything that I've been planning to do. And everything. Yes, Doc, that's exactly it. That's the reason why I needed you to fix my ears because I need to be able to hear the word. I need to read because the more of the word you read, the more your faith grows. Really? Yes. Oh, faith grows like cabbages, shibage, Something tomatoes. Like that. Yes. You know, like, can you see like my hair? You know, I've been trying to go my hair. Like I've been using aloe vera. Okay, 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 I'm Dr. Tanji. I think everything. you're getting lost. Okay. You're getting kind of lost. So I think we need to watch this video so you can be very sure about what I'm talking about. Okay. Hey kids, have you ever thought about the size of your faith? If it was like a pair of shoes, would it be toddler size, kid size, or adult size? Do you think the size of your faith matters? Well, Jesus had some very important things to say about the size of your faith. He didn't want people to feel bad about how little faith they had. Sometimes, followers of Jesus wondered if he was smart enough, or big enough, or strong enough. Whenever they had those thoughts, it showed that their faith was small. But Jesus wasn't worried about it because he knew a secret. Even just a teeny bit of faith is enough for God. Did you know that? Can you believe it? God doesn't need you to be a superhero of the faith who can fill some really, really big shoes. He just needs you to have a little bit of faith. And he can do a lot with it. The apostle said to the Lord, Show us how to increase our faith. The Lord answered, If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, May you be uprooted and thrown into the sea, and it would obey you. Did you know that the mustard seed is really, really small? They're tiny. I have like five of them right here. They're so small. I promise. That's why Jesus used them in his parable. Have you ever helped your parents plant in a garden? You use the little seeds in the packet. And after you water it and care for it, eventually it turns into a tomato or a pumpkin or a mustard. That's how seeds work and that's how faith works. You see, a little faith in a big God is a big deal. Believing in Jesus isn't about how smart or great or faithful we are. It's about how great God is. That's why a little faith goes a long way when we put our faith in the right place. Have you put your faith in Jesus? If so, you can trust him to grow that faith a little more every day. Oh, wow, Auntie Fuzzy, that was so awesome. Now I get it, that when you read more of the word, your faith really, really grows. Yes. Oh, but wait a minute. What is faith? Faith is... Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before you answer, I think you have my patience and I always have all the time because of something else. So let me call them and they come in and they can answer this whole thing, okay? All you can right. solve this thing. I can solve this problem. I'm Dr. Tandy, okay? Hold on. Um, let me check. Mm, yes, he's here. Oh, where? Yes. Oh, where? Can you call my sweetie? Come, 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 come. Right. Now let us tell Auntie Fadi here what faith is. What is faith, my son? 
It's my friend. He's next door neighbor to me. Oh my, oh my. I'm sure he needs a paracetamol. Okay, Owe? Yes? I think go back and sit down. I'll see you just now, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh dear, I don't know. Let me try another one, okay, Auntie Fuzzy? Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I got this. Whew. Hmm. Who's there? Who's there? Yes! Naughty! Naughty, come! Hi, Naughty. Hi. Right, so I need you to tell Auntie Fuzzy here what faith is. I don't know. Oh. Oh, dear. Today's a long day. I think I need a jab. Oh. Okay, Auntie Fadi, I rest my case now. So please don't tell me, what is faith? Finally, faith is believing in God for something we haven't seen. Really? Like something that we haven't seen? Okay, I'm thinking, mm hmm, hmm. I haven't, I haven't seen the stars. Can I touch the stars? Yes. But you know what? I can't touch the sky, but then I'm thinking of the moon and everything. You know, I should have been an okay, astronaut. Doc, like, okay, Doc, like, okay. Really? Oh, okay. Like, I can't see all those things. Dr. Like, Tandy? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I think you're kind of lost. Let me give you an example. Right. Faith is like the wind. Wind. Can you see the wind? No, I can't see the wind. Can you touch the wind? No, I can't touch the wind. So how do you know there's wind? Of course I know there's wind. I can feel it. It blows my hair everywhere, like... And oh, exactly, dog. <sighs> exactly. That's the same thing with faith. You can't see faith. You can't touch faith, but you know it's there and it's real. Just like how we believe in God. Wow. You know, you can't touch God, you can't feel God, but you know that God is there. Oh, wow, you really such a clever little lady. Yes, Really, I'm going to sort out that ear, girl. I'm going to suck you out so you can continue to hear the word. But before you sort me out, I think we need to pray for all the boys and girls out there. All right. Let us pray. Let us pray. Everyone, let's close our eyes and let's bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for all the boys and girls out there. We thank you that you're helping them out with their faith, helping them to read their Bible, and just speaking to them so that they can hear you. Thank you, Father, for their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, and all the boys and girls say, Amen. Oh, cool. Now we can end this appointment because, you know, I've still got other patients waiting for me. Oh, yes. Okay, please fuzzy, fix come closer, my ear. Come closer. Come closer. 